welcome everyone it's been a very long time since i've posted a video here and i know some of the new subscribers i'm like are like does this lady post anything yes i do i've had a bit of a crisis for the last two months so i haven't been able to post on a regular basis but i hope now i can be able to uh, it also depends because my schedule is becoming busier i'll try as much as possible to post um, I wanted to share this specific content about quilting and patchwork because I attended the Threads of Time exhibition at the Sarin Center earlier this month. I know we're on the last day of the month when I'm recording this, so you might actually watch this in October, at the beginning of October, but I went to Sarin Center at the beginning of September for that exhibition. I didn't even know that there was a quilting and patchwork community in Kenya that has been there for a very very long time so I'm going to tell you more about it but I wanted to start the video by explaining what quilting and patchwork is about because it might be new for some of you you people uh, might actually know what it is but you don't know the history of it or how it's used or uh, basically just generally why people like it so Another disclaimer I'll make at the beginning of this video is that the footage is not done with my camera because I, for some reason that day I forgot my camera. So it was done on phone, so it's not the, the crispest uh, footage, but I think it can still work for the video. It's also another reason I really, really have delayed um, putting this out there, but I did want to really show you the beauty of getting into a quilting community and this specific quilting community do take members. I'm going to talk more about it. Um, I'm going to show a lot of footage of the things I saw there. People are really talented. There was a bit of a competition during that event for people to vote for the artwork they really, really like. So basically, it's just fabric art. Uh, the quilting show was showcasing fabric art, but of course you can use quilting for everyday items like duvet, cushion covers, home deco pieces like wall hangings, um, gloves for the kitchen and things like that. I'll basically just show what I saw and definitely feel free to check um, the internet, especially Pinterest for the things people are doing with quilting. And if possible, join the quilting community. You don't have to be a professional um, designer or someone in the fashion industry to get into quilting. They actually take people who just want to have a new hobby and this is a great hobby to have. So if you have the time and you want to be part of a community that's sewing, I definitely recommend that you join these ladies. Most of them are ladies. I don't know if men will or not. But enjoy the footage. I guess I'll see you in the next video. Look out for it. And thank you so much for being patient with me even as I release more videos soon. See you at the end. Patchwork, by definition, is the craft of sewing in which small pieces of cloth in different designs, colors, or textures are sewn together. Quilting is a method of stitching layers of materials together. Although there are some variations, a quilt usually means a bed cover made of two layers of fabric with a layer of pad, padding or wadding in between held together by lines of stitching. The stitches are usually based on a pattern or design. Using my phone footage, I'm going to give you a brief history of quilting and patchwork. It has a rich history globally, dating back thousands of years. The practice originated in ancient Egypt where quilted garments were used for warmth. Quilting also appeared in China, the Middle East, and later spread to Europe during the Crusades. By the 17th century, it had become an established craft in England, France, and Italy. In America, quilting became popular during the colonial period, evolving into a vital part of their cultural fabric, especially among women on the frontier, who used scraps of fabric to create patchwork quilts as practical and artistic expression. Across Africa, quilting and patchwork also have deep roots. In West Africa, stripped woven fabrics were stitched together to create patchwork designs that reflected cultural and spiritual significance. Today, quilting and patchwork have become more than functional crafts. They are recognized as artistic forms. Contemporary fashion 
has embraced these techniques, which designers incorporate patchwork into high fashion collections to celebrate sustainability and creativity. In the do-it-yourself or DIY and craft world, these methods are experiencing a resurgence, appreciating, appreciated for their zero waste potential, where leftover fabric scraps can be transformed into unique personalized designs. So now I'm going to give you some information about the organizers of the event, known as the Kenya Quilt Guild, that are a vibrant group of people who love the art of quilting. And their largest group is actually based in Nairobi, and they do have smaller groups out up country in more remote areas. They meet on every month except August and December, and they meet on the third Thursday, mostly on Zoom. The meetings include guest speakers, demonstrations, or workshops along with regular business. Occasionally, there are opportunities to buy fabric, quilting magazines, and other quilt-related items. They have a comprehensive library and books can be checked out by members at a small fee. The Kenyan Guild was actually a brainchild of Anne Maines, an, Amer an, an American called Dana Crane in the mid 1990s. The guild was registered as the Kenya Quilt Guild in 1999 with around 30 members and since has grown to 80 members. The quilt exhibitions in Nairobi are held every 18 months and the first one was held in Canada in 2008. That's for the international one. The Kenya Quilt Guild is a non-profit organization and has donated to many charities over the years and have concentrated on mainly women and children organizations. Check out their websites to know how you could be able to join them. Thank you for watching the video. I hope that you'll consider joining this community of quilters and patchworkers. And remember to keep those scraps of fabric that you have. Um, if you don't have scraps of fabric, trust me, um, there are many people, tailors, designers, and all of me throw scraps. Some of the quilts I saw had the tiniest, tiniest one centimeter square pieces that were made. It's, it was really remarkable. It's a very very good way as well to reduce fabric waste so anyway generally check it out um collect fabric if you must of course the fabric has to make sense um the ladies really really recommend cotton fabric um i guess you can always experiment with other fabric but it's worth joining they really really want a lot of young people joining that community so join it can be a mother and daughter thing it can be a whole family thing um please don't restrict yourself if you're a guy definitely check out the community of quilters and i guess i'll see you next time thank you for watching bye